know, and he just needs to be mentally, physically prepared for sometimes it not going exactly your way, but that should only happen momentarily. You gotta get back to making sure that things go your way. His head movement was sorry, trash, trash. You're Muslim, don't you know how to bend down? You know what I'm saying? Don't you know, no, 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 don't you put your forehead to the ground? You know what I'm saying? You gotta, I mean, at least, at least you're like, woo, do a little left side, right side, pull back, boom, boom, catch him. You know, the, when they say how elite he is, you know, we're not, we're really not sure now. You know, okay, he might have cheated, this and that, but we're really not sure about his elite status. Um, he will have time, he's young enough. If they reverse the calling, it'll benefit him. He, he will remain an undefeated champion who got slapped up in the world. The world will never forget, but the record might get washed. But at the end of the day, he, need, he needs to, he needs to show what he brings to the table. Because if you ask me, um, he's, he's good, but he's not one of those threats of threats of threats. I mean, yeah, it's going to be very hard. I mean, it's entertaining if you want to see him get knocked down three more times. Ryan said he can't make 140. I was even at 143 at catchweights. He's coming can't make 140. You can. Don't drink a beer at the weigh kid, okay? Run a few more laps. Like, stop playing. And, and, and you'll get hurt at 147. You, you got limits. See what happened to Canelo when he tried to be at 175. There's limit. We have weight classes for a reason. You know what I mean? Going up once is one thing. Going up twice, going up thrice, you know what I mean? Like my my, my buddy, my stable mate from the amateurs, right? Google Andrade, you know? He got the big fight against Benavides. Me and Andrade were fighting at 152. So he's really, you know, six foot two, 154 pounder when he turned pro. Then you got 160, then you got 168. That's three, you know, that's different, man. And and it showed that, you know, he was able to use some of his tactics and do certain things, but it's hard. It's hard to keep moving up. What Floyd did is amazing. What Pacquiao did is amazing, you know? And it's really hard to have that story. What Inoue has been doing from the band of weights and up, you know, what what Lomachenko, Lomachenko is, is a great, a great example. Look at the losses he's been taking because he's fighting bigger guys. But I respect Lomachenko. Let me say that first. I respect Lomachenko because the small guys, he had to do that because he wants to be at the top of boxing. He wants to entertain. He wants to fight the best. And he wants to make the money. And he did what he needed to do. But there was such a big risk factor. If Lomachenko easily stayed in his division, he probably could have dominated a little bit more, a little bit longer before running into real, real stumbling blocks like he did by pushing the needle time and time again. Speaking of fighting, but I respect Speaking of fighting, you know, three way ties, you know, we fight at 54, Crawford going at uh, 54, half a lot of speed. He said the three fights, the show take what he's trying to go for. You know, he's speeding at three way ties, he's going to go to 54. Well, he, he ain't going to go for undisputed. What do you mean? He, so he, he will win two belts in this fight against Rajamak. Whoever wins, wins two belts, I believe. And if Fedora does not fight him, he gets that belt as well. Where did these belts, like, didn't Charles <laughs> just have them a week ago? Well, saying, didn't he just have them a week ago? <laughs> I'm confused, man. I'm, I'm tired of this belt game, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, man, you know, me and Crawford, it's just like Google Andrade, uh, uh, just like Danny Jacobs. Uh, there's, there's, there's so many staple mates of mine that we come from the same Olympic year, man. So deep down, he knows that whatever, whatever he said, there was a time he really wanted to fight me. He didn't really want to fight me. But then all of a sudden, uh, after Crawford, they were saying, or uh, after Spence, they were saying, you know, we're done, welterweight, we don't need to think about Thurman. But as soon as I was talking about the zoo fight, he said, well, hey, you know what, the winner is out, I'm willing to take. So I always say, never say never. Stop telling me that these fighters will never fight me, because I know how it works. You know, I know how it works. It just needs to be the right timing. Things need to be happening. Boom, boom, boom. They know that after slapping up Zoo, you guys would have been entertained. It would have had that, oh, the rise, Thurman, look what he did, this and that. And then Crawford's like, well, let's go ahead, let's run it. You know, he knows, I know where we come from. I love seeing these guys make history. I'm not a hater. I love seeing these guys make history. 
I love, because uh, I, I, I know, I know when we were doing what we did, when we were fighting for medals and trophies, when we were doing it for free, you know? So to see this boy, hometown boy, Oklahoma, really come up and do everything, man, I salute the man, you know? And he's done great things in boxing, and, and it'd be an honor, and I would love to be in the ring with him one day. Well, what do you remember, what are some of those memories of Crawford from those, those amateur days when it was for free? What, what, what are some of your memories of him? You know, I mean, he was, he was competing with the best, you know, he's competing with the best, uh, just like myself. We were always, you know, competing with the best. Every once in a while, getting called in by USA Boxing to represent USA and do international events. I believe Crawford was just like me. Uh, he fell short at the Olympic trials and was an Olympic alternate. You know what I'm saying? To then eventually come on and be one of the biggest superstars in the sport of boxing. You know, um, just like Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was an Olympian. He was an Olympic alternate. You know, but then you have Olympians like Oscar De La Hoya. You got Olympians um, like Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? But we have that that back that background, that upbringing. You know, we from since we were kids, we fought the best in the world. To this day, we fight the best of the world. And like I said, when I when I see these guys, I see that they made it. You know, even even when I had to fight my man Sean Porter, even when I had to fight Danny Garcia, we we were all from the same Olympic year. Um, um, Deontay Wilder, the bronze bomber. We're all from the same Olympic year, man. So to just see the continuation and the champions and the Charlos, the Charlos, you know, I met them when I was training in Texas in their gym for the Olympic trials. They weren't competing. So to see them go from not at that caliber in the amateurs where I was there, but from both brothers to, to make it to that level, you know, and just, you guys should know this best. The more you interact with a fighter, you know, and then you and then you watch a fighter in the ring, there, there's a, a better connection. It could just be a five minute conversation, but if you never had a five minute conversation, then for you, they're only a TV personality. Once you're here in front of them, then, then you get to see the reality of, of the individual, you know, as long as they're not a douchebag and they don't really need the time of day, you know what I mean? But like I said, I mean, I've been, I've been at a gelato shop back at home and, and I've made interactions and I've turned, uh, you know, local customers into, you know, future boxing fans, you know. So it, it's different whenever you get to interact. So I know a lot of these guys and I'm proud of all of them. No one could ever call you uh, one of those guys, like you were saying, who doesn't talk to the media as a dude. You are not that guy. Keith Thurman, thank you so much, man. Thank you. 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 Thank